Is it okay to mix 87 and 89 octane fuel in your car? You realized your car takes 87, but you've already filled it partially with 89. First off, congratulations on actually reading your car's manual or looking into its fuel requirements. So many folks skip that part and they shouldn't. Here's the lowdown. The numbers, 87 and 89, indicate the octane rating, which is essentially the measure of a fuel's ability to resist knocking or pinging during combustion. It's all about the pressure at which the fuel will spontaneously combust. Here's the deal. If your car is designed to run on 87 octane fuel, filling it with a higher octane fuel like 89 isn't going to harm your engine. It's not like mixing diesel with gasoline, which would be a party fouler of epic proportions. In Portland, Oregon, where I'm from, we get all types. Some cars are like those hipster cafes in the Pearl District. They'll accept any type of craft coffee, fuel, you throw at them. Other cars, though, might be a bit more like that pretentious barista who only serves single-origin espresso, premium fuel. If your car is telling you 87 is all right, it's designed to run just fine on regular unleaded, and using 89 won't improve performance or efficiency. However, if you already have 89 in there, topping off with 87 won't cause any issues. These fuels mix just fine within the tank and will burn effectively in your engine. In fact, what most people don't realize is that when you're selecting different octane ratings at the pump, they're often coming from the same tank and are mixed in the pump in differing proportions. Bottom line? You can mix 87 and 89 octane fuel in your car's tank if your vehicle is rated for 87. It'll save you a bit of money, and you'll be just fine cruising around Stumptown. Just keep in mind for the next fill-up, your car is cool with the simpler things in life. It's content with the 87.